HMS Ambush, the Royal Navy's second astute class submarine, has entered the water for the first time. The £1.2 billion nuclear submarine will now undergo an extensive series of tests before eventually entering service. Ambush has been built at Barrow in Furness in Cumbria, from where Tim Cooper reports. HMS Ambush was lowered into the water overnight in front of the huge BAE Systems Devonshire Dock Hall in Barrow. Dubbed a super sub, her reactor could power a city the size of Southampton and despite being 50% bigger than the Swiftsure and Trafalgar class submarine she'll eventually replace, she's one of the quietest ever. Her propellers are said to make less noise than a baby dolphin, making her virtually undetectable to enemy vessels. It's a far cry from the first Royal Navy submarines to leave here in 1903. Ambush is the second of seven astute class submarines and their future has now been assured under the Strategic Defence and Security Review, meaning that work on the remaining five has already begun here. Seeing the second boat in the water for the first time is a special sight for people like Brian Hurley, who's worked for years on the project. So yeah, going to the water overnight and being in the water for the first day again is a massively proud moment and culmination of five years uh, intense work from up to 350 guys, so yeah, impressive, impressive day for us. A stew class submarine set a new standard for the Royal Navy in terms of weapons load, communications, stealth and crew comfort. Nuclear powered, their reactor will run without refuelling for the 25 years they'll see in service. They'll maintain the country's nuclear deterrent, being equipped with Tomahawk Block 4 cruise missiles as well as Spearfish torpedoes. The first journey all of the submarines will make is the slow three foot a minute push out of the BAE systems workshops. But they're not complete yet and will undergo 12 more months of fitting out and testing alongside in Barrow and Royal Navy personnel will be heavily involved in this phase. On the 17th of December, at the naming date and the launch ceremony, we handed operational control of the vast majority of ship systems to the, to the Navy crew. So the boat now is manned 24 hours a day, seven days a week by the, by the crew, monitoring the reactor plant and ensuring watertight integrity on the submarine. HMS Astute, the first of the class, has already completed her time here, but hit the headlines when she ran aground off the coast of the Isle of Skye. During the rescue operation, she collided with a tug, causing £7 million of damage. Navy chiefs certainly won't want that fate to befall HMS Ambush. When finally commissioned next year, 98 Royal Navy sailors will call the boat home. Tim Cooper, Forces News, Barrow.